morning, everyone. Actually, let me see if the light works. <laughs> uh, better than it was. Uh, good morning. It is Wednesday morning. I'm on my way into work right now. Uh, warm, very warm this morning. Um, a little muggy, a lot of uh, condensation on the windows. Uh, supposed to get some more heavy rain tonight. Uh, not exactly sure what what's um, going on today. Sorry, uh, this cold is n just hanging on. I was up all night coughing and got very little sleep, so I'm kind of out of it a little bit right now. Uh, so I'm heading into work. I keep it really sweet, short and sweet. Uh, no dash cam this morning. I forgot to plug it in. Uh, so next time you see me, I'll be at work, hopefully. Uh, other than that, I am heading to work. Uh, hopefully traffic's light again today, and I'll get with you throughout the day. <music> in the truck getting ready to go uh, a little bit of rain today not as bad as it was yesterday um, not even close to as bad as it was yesterday but it's gonna be damp it's gonna be slow on the ride home so I gotta get out of here I stayed talking for a little bit it's actually about quarter of four so I want to get home and play with the new lens and I'll be showing you that so I'll probably have a lot of test footage and different stuff tonight so I will get with you guys once I get home until then dash cam I'm home. It's raining out. It was a miserable ride in. Uh, people don't know how to drive. They really don't know how to drive around here. It's getting really bad. Uh, we made supper. Of course, Tuka's got to eat now because everyone's over here. You've had all this time to eat, and now you don't eat. You wait until everyone's got to come over near the stove. I will get back to you guys right after I eat supper. I'm going to go downstairs and I'm going to play with the new um, 10 to 18 millimeter lens. See how it works. So, I'll get back to you in a little bit. All right, everyone. This is me on the new 10 to 18 millimeter lens from Canon. I am literally about six inches away from this lens right now. And I'll show you how close I'm actually sitting to this lens right now. It is incredible. Uh, all right, so I'm looking at the G7X right now. Think. Okay. This is how close away I am. It is incredible how good of a picture is. But I switch it around now so it's going to track my face. I should stay in focus no matter where I am. And if something comes in, I should focus on that. Yeah. Now it should focus in on my face. It doesn't sound, I can't hear any noise from the, the autofocus, so it seems pretty good. Uh, I like what I see here. This is really nice. Uh, I am using a hood over the lens just to prevent some lens flares. Uh, using the fluorescent lighting here in my office, you know, can cause that. So stay away from that. So I'm happy with this. This it looks pretty good uh, through the viewfinder or the, the LCD screen. It looks really good. So what I'm going to have to do is I'll have to pop it up on the computer, make sure that it's in focus. Because I did some video the other day. I thought it was in focus. It wasn't. Uh, it drives me nuts. But this looks pretty good right now. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you like the new lens, uh, the sharpness. It's a wide angle lens, so it gets a lot. So I can zoom out and you can see my mess down here. I can zoom in and it's right on me. All right, so this this is my new 10 to 18 millimeter lens. Cool. Oops, as I hit the tripod. Uh, 
down in my office right now, uh, in front of the studio lights and everything. Sorry, I keep on looking over. I'm new lens, just trying to get used to it. Got some of my old tools here. I've gone through a lot of tools to do the video and the blogs and web design and everything. So I got a lot of my retired stuff down here in my office. This here is my first full-time vlogging camera. I didn't know it was called vlogging at the time. 60 gigabytes. This thing was not that cheap when I bought it. Uh, the problem I have with this thing is it is a pain in the butt to get the video off of this camera and onto the hard drive. So once I was able to save up a little bit of money, I still use this every now and then. Um, I let the girls use it uh, whenever they need to do video or something. But whenever I, when I was able to save up a little bit of money, I went to a Nikon Coolpix. This was really good. I liked this camera. Uh, the first, almost the first year of my vlog, I used this. It takes great video. It is super convenient. I mean, it's very thin, fits boom, right in your pocket. I, no problem with this here. Actually, I shouldn't say no problem. There was the, the main problem that I had with this was I could never frame myself. In other words, I'm looking at the lens, okay, but I never knew if I was in frame or if I was in focus. So that was one of the main problems that I had with this. It's still very good camera, still works very good today. Uh, see, that's the problem that I have, is I could never tell whether I was up here or if I was down here, you know, off to the side. I, I just, I, I couldn't tell, you know, so, but like I said, I mean, it works really well. Still a good camera. Um, I went on from there. I had gotten a Canon Th Rebel 3, excuse me, T3i. That was a really good camera. I used that. Uh, only problem is the autofocus sucked. You had to actually manual focus the lens. Uh, it wouldn't automatically adjust. So, like, if I moved back to here, I'd be out of focus. If I came up to here, I'd be out of focus. So that, that was one of the main problems that I had with that lens. I mean, with that camera. Uh, I had that for many years. I, I've had probably about five or six years. Probably even more older than that. So I used it quite a bit. But it was frustrating when you, when you go on to... A, you speak for a long time. And then you go to put the footage into the computer to do it in the vlog. And it's all out, out blurry, out of focus. Or you're out of frame. or it, It's just frustrating so what I did was the next thing that I got and I still use it to this day this is actually my second one is this is by all accounts all the the big time vloggers it's the Canon G7X like I said this is my second one the reason why it's my second one is my dog ate my first one I'm not kidding when I say he ate the first one he actually chewed the metal lens. He ate right through this lens. So it doesn't work now. So I had to go out and buy another one and these are about $800. Was not happy with them. My latest investment for the vlog is what I'm shooting on right now. It is an EOS Rebel T6i. I love this camera. This is a beautiful camera. It shoots video the the pictures i mean to go out and take photography with it it is awesome this is an awesome camera to take pictures with so i i think it was a good good investment i mean i'm gonna grab the g7x here so that i can show you because i'm filming on t6i uh let's get a little bit of video of you okay that's the t6i right there okay one of the other investments that i made is a road mic it is incredible how much sound will make the video. Uh, that's one of the things with this this lens that I just got, the, the 10 to 18 millimeter lens. I, like I said, I am literally right now probably about 8 inches away from the lens. and Which means I'm that much closer to the mic. You'll hear me tap. Okay. Which in turn is going to make the, vo the, the, the voice, yeah, I guess voice sound... It's going to sound a lot better. Hopefully I can do a lot more with this. 
I just wanted to get with you guys and show you a couple of my tools that I use. I have a lot more. I have a, a lot of stuff. I got to organize down here. I have quite a few vacation days coming up. And I probably, I have this Friday, but I've got to take Lee's car in, so I might not be able to do it. But I want to finish this basement up. I want to pull this carpet out. I want to put new flooring in down here. And I want to put some shelves in so I can display all my tools. So I, I've got a lot of work to do down here. Uh, still doing websites. Still got the girls basketball. Doing all sorts of things with them. So like I said, I just want to show you the tools that I use. Shoot some video on the T6i because I don't get a chance to do it that often. Alright everyone, I guess that's going to be it for tonight. Uh, really happy with the Canon lens that I got the 10 to millimeter. Thing does a beautiful job. I mean, the, the camera is literally that far away from my nose and the video it looks like i'm away from it sound should be really good with it i hope um so that's one of the things i was noticing with the uh 18 millimeter lens i think it's 18 to 55 millimeter lens the kit lens that comes with the t6i i've got to be a good two to three feet away probably about this far away and i noticed lately with the rode mic the sound isn't coming out that good so, actually, the sound coming out of my G7X is actually better than what was coming out of the Rode mic. So, with me being a little bit closer, it should be a, a better better sound, I guess. So, hopefully that works. Um, I'll have to play with it a little bit more when I have a little bit more time. But, that's going to be it for me tonight. Uh, it's a little bit after 10 o'clock. Still have the cold. Have a cough. And it kept me up all last night. So I'm going to bed way early tonight. Uh, glad you watched. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. If you want to follow me, you can follow me on Facebook. You can subscribe to my Twitter feed. You can go to my website, which is markplant.com. Or you can subscribe below. If you want to go to any of the social media sites that I subscribe to, Wait till right after this and I'll have links to all of them or down in the description below. I have links there also. So thanks again for watching and I will see everyone again tomorrow and do a little more in-depth on the technical aspects of the 10 to 18 millimeter lens.